All right, everybody. The votes are in for which cable everybody thought that they liked the best. And I want to thank everybody who participated. You were brave. I will not out you. <laughs> um, because it was really just an interesting test. And I forgot to say one thing. For both cables, I sandwiched my cell phone with Wi-Fi and a uh, 4G LTE signal in between a hard drive that was turned on um, to test out radio frequency interference between the two cables. And it was an interesting test. Um, so I'm gonna play the tracks for you and on screen I'll tell you which cable was which while they play. And um, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching. For the record, these files were all originally recorded at 192 kilohertz. And then they were downsampled for the previous video to 44.1 kilohertz with Voxengo Rate Brain. You guys surprised? Were you happy with your pick? Let me know in the comments below. I'll tell you what, personally, I was surprised that that cheap ass cable sounded pretty darn good. In fact, I wouldn't have a problem recording with it again if that's all I had. Now, mind you, it's six feet long compared to the 12 feet long Mogami. 
So that may be one of the reasons it sounds the way it does. But at the same time, if you can save yourself $100 and you have to just sit closer to your audio interface, who cares, right? Anyway, outro girl, take it away. Thanks for watching this realhomerecording.com video. You can get monthly audio engineering news and exclusive videos by signing up for our newsletter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and consider subscribing. Have some questions? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If Adam has helped you produce better quality audio, then please consider becoming a monthly patron or donate via PayPal. Bye!